in today's video we will be learning the steps for mail merging for envelopes that is chapter 5 is all about mail merging through letters through labels and through envelopes now mail merging through letters i have already uploaded the video if you want you can check the link above mail merging for labels i've uploaded the video again you can check the link above this video is all about mail merging through envelopes that is to create envelopes we are going to depend on the mail merging step itself so what you have to understand is i have actually used the same type of procedure in letters as well as labels so you wouldn't have difficulty in understanding the result will be different one you're creating letters with different addresses on it the second one was labeled with different addresses on it today's video is all about envelopes with different addresses on it okay so basically you would have noticed that sometimes when you receive uh, postal uh, letters that is the envelopes the addresses would not be handwritten okay it will either be uh, in the form of labels which we tried it's like you know uh, like a sticker with address on it in the previous video we discussed that already now in this what we are trying to say is that sometimes when you receive postal letters the envelopes the addresses won't be handwritten or in the form of sticker but rather it would be typed so basically what you have to understand is uh, what is the purpose the purpose behind mail merging for envelopes okay so when you have bulk mail to be sent to people on your mailing list you can use mail merge to create a batch of addressed envelopes Okay, so each envelope will be containing an address from your mailing list. So using this method, you will be able to create and print the envelopes as a batch rather than just individually doing it for each one of them. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can actually do envelopes with addresses on it using the mail merging option itself okay so for doing the envelopes also we have two methods okay first is through the wizard so you just enable the wizard and we do the entire series of steps and the second one is through the ribbon method so i'll show you both the methods so the first method so for that for envelopes we are going to take a blank document you need not open any letter foil or nothing just a blank document after that you will choose mailings start mail merge and choose step by step wizard so the panel the wizard gets attached to the right hand side so the first option is select document type we are working on envelopes so i'll be choosing envelopes okay click on next now the second thing is select the starting document so basically what you have to understand is this page that you have opened up it refers to the structure of your envelope so you need to decide what size should be for your document okay change the document layout as like this blank document that i've opened up you can actually change the envelope size from here or else start from an existing document like you know you already have created a size of an envelope and you want to choose that yes you can open the file just start and pick up that file but then the best method is open a blank document and just choose change document layout and then envelope options now when you choose envelope options you have list of options available so whatever is the envelope that you have purchased from the market or whatever is the size that you want your addresses to be printed you'll basically choose that list okay that you'll be choosing that particular size so whatever is the size you prefer choose that and then click on okay 
The moment you click on OK, you will see that the entire layout of your document changes to the size of the envelope that we picked up. OK, so once this is done, click on Next. So here we have select recipients. So for mail merging through letters, for mail merging through labels, we had the same options. So use an existing list. That is whenever you have a data source already typed, you can choose this option. Select from an Outlook contact. Suppose if the address details that you want to extract is in your Outlook, that is your mailing software, you can actually extract it from there. Or type a new list is literally typing the whole thing here. After you enable the merge mail merging option, you're typing the data source details here. That is also possible. So as we have our data source already created, I'll choose use an existing list, click on browse. Okay, locate your folder. And from this folder, I'm going to pick up the data source. So once I click that, you will notice it shows me the entire structure here. Like it shows me how many number of records it has. Okay, once that is done. Once you are convinced regarding the content, you just click on OK. Once this part is done, click on Next. Now here, once you have the envelope size, you'll notice that there is a small box here. For that, you have to click to the center of the envelope. Not the center, a little bottom uh, center. That is uh, horizontally at the center you can click out and you get this option you can actually type to or if uh, not if not needed you can just directly put up the addresses so i have typed two and after that i've placed my cursor to the next line i'll choose more items so title then the name that is regional manager address one, address two, address three, and address four. I've put up all this. See, when you use this insert merge, merge field, this is what happens, you know, you get a complete uh, sequence. If you want, you can change this. You can actually use the wizard and the merge thing together. Like, you know, you can actually use this one, which is much more convenient, like title, then space, regional manager, enter, and then you have, uh, address one, enter, address two, enter, address three, enter, and address four. You can do it this way also. This is much more easier or else you'll have to use the more items, put up all of them, and then you have to rearrange it. But this is much more easier. Now, once this is done, you can click on next. So this gives you a preview recipient one, two, three, now, if you want, after this, if you want, you can actually type the from address also. Okay, now once this is done, after you type the two address from address, click on next, it gives you a preview. and so on. Okay, once this is done, you can click on next. If you want to change the format, the font size, style, anything is possible at this moment, everything is possible. Like you want to make the font size a little bigger, or maybe 13, and the style of the text to be slightly different, everything is allowed. Okay, so it's up to you. What is your requirement accordingly you can set. Okay, if you want this also. Okay, this way so I've set the thing exactly. So I've set it both together. So it's up to you. It's not compulsory to change the uh, look or the format or the font size. But suppose if you're practically doing it, 
in a real time environment and you want this to be printed, I think you have to choose the uh, font style to be a slightly different one. You can choose this. And then you can click on edit individual envelopes, click on all or choose current record or from one to, out of one to 10, you want from one to six, so you can type one to six. Current record, whichever is the enabled one that you'll be getting, or you can choose all, so all the 10 you'll be getting. So click on okay. Once this is done, you'll see that the resultant merged envelopes are shown here, see? So as many number of records I have, that many number of envelope sized uh, address details have been shown here. Okay, so this was method one. The second method that we have is through the mailing, the ribbon one. So rather than, you know, going for step by step wizard and depending on the wizard at the right hand side, you can actually choose the ribbon option. What you will do is click on word, open a blank document, okay? Now in the blank document, then we'll go to mailings, okay? Start mail merge and here we will be choosing envelopes. So once you choose envelopes, a small option should pop up, okay? It will ask for the type of envelope that you'll be choosing. So see, what you have to understand is if I want the addresses to be printed on a certain type of envelope, okay? These envelopes, you're gonna purchase it from the market and each type or each size of envelope will have a particular name with the dimensions and stuff. So whatever envelopes you have purchased, whatever envelopes you have, Based on that, you will be choosing this size here. Okay, so time being, I'm just choosing any size. But then if you want the addresses to be printed on an envelope that you have purchased from the market, make sure the correct name or the correct size of that envelope needs to be fed in here. Once this is done, you can click on OK. And you'll notice that the size of your page is changed as the size that we have selected. So this is like a structure for your envelope. Once this is done, we can actually choose the recipient. So select recipients. So if you want to type the list, you can type a list. If you have already created the data source, you can actually pick the data source from here choose from an Outlook contacts. In the previous two videos also have said, whenever you your organization or you're using Outlook uh, contacts, which is a mailing software, you'll have all the details or the details about the customers or the employees or the students stored up in the Outlook contacts itself. So you just have to extract the details from there. Now here I will be choosing use an existing list and browse and find the list where you have stored it. So here we have here we have our files. So here I'm picking up, let's see, data source. Okay, and here I click on open. So once I open, it gets attached there. If you want to view the thing, you can actually choose edit recipe in details and you'll see that the addresses are actually shown here. If you want, if you want even in this mode, if you want to make any modifications that is possible, like if you want to make uh, any editing that is also acceptable or if you want to filter out something that is also acceptable. So here, click on edit recipient list and it basically shows out the entire records in that particular data source. So once that is done, okay, now the important part is in an envelope structure, see the center part. The center part has got this small placeholder box which you have to click. And here you can actually put in the 
if you want, you can write down to, or if you don't want to use that, you can just directly put up the address. So here I have insert merge fields. Okay, so I can actually choose title, space, and then I have a regional manager, that is the name of the person. And then I can pick up address one. I can press enter, address two. Again, enter, address three, the way you want to arrange it, and address four. So once this is done, this is the two address part. Here, if you want from, you can actually type your detail. Okay, once this is done, you can actually preview the results. So when you click on preview, so this is how it shows up. So this is your first one, so on as many number of records you have according to that it will show up once this is done click on finish edit individual documents and i'll choose all so i've told you previously suppose out of these 10 to 12 records you just want the first five you write down from first to five or you just want one then just use current so whichever is the one that you want you can just enable that or click on all so the entire thing will be shown up. So here I click on OK and once I do that, you will notice that here I have one, two, three, four, five, six and so on. Now what we have to do is keep your printer ready, keep the envelope, the one that we want the addresses on You'll put those envelopes inside the printer and just give the print command. These will be printed on your envelope. So both those methods can be used for generating envelopes using the mail merge option. So I hope you understood the method regarding generating addresses on envelopes using the mail merge wizard okay uh, for the videos relating to the next chapters and the previous chapters will be uploaded soon those who haven't subscribed please subscribe so that you get notification relating to the uploaded videos thank you